kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 2 of my video series on voice changer app using Android studio Alright guys so I will start working on the app and also I will try to make sure that it is a very short video series uh, so let's get started so as you, in my previous uh, video part I had created the uh, I had created the project and now I will in this video I will First of all, uh, draw the uh, activity main.xml or uh, the layout for our main activity. So here as we have the uh, relative layout. So first of all, uh, here we will use the background as drawable slash background. Alright, and what I will do now is first of all, we will use an image view and it will be match parent and let's set the height to 500 dp and let's set the source to drawable double m all right so this will be our image view and after that we will have uh, a linear layout and this linear layout will be match parent and wrap content then we can say we need to set the margin from the bottom and it will be 5 dp and then we say layout below and it will be okay so i forgot to add the id for our image view so here we can say image view mic and here we can say image view mic all right then we can say align parent left to true and then we can set the orientation and it will be vertical all right so in this uh, linear layout we will have the spinner which will contain the different voices so here we will have the spinner as and it will be 250 dp width and its height will be 60 dp and its gravity will be centered and then we can set the margin top to 10 dp and we set the background to drawable slash item all right and we set the gravity to left and okay so here we can say center then we can set the text color okay i think text color is not available so we can okay so here we will have this uh, and after this this linear layout we are going to use the relative layout for that and it will be match parent and trap content and we will need to set the margin bottom to 10 dp and here we have the margin bottom and it will be equal to 10 dp and we need to set the below to linear layout one and i forgot to add the id for the linear layout so here we will set the linear layout one and now it looks fine and after this relative layout inside this relative layout i am going to use another linear layout and in this linear layout what i want to do is inside this linear layout i will use wrap content and also i will set the height to wrap content and we need to set the center horizontal and it will be true and we will set the center vertical and it will also we will mark it as true so inside this linear layout we will have two image views and inside those image views uh, we are going to set it the start recording button and the play button so here i will use the image view first image view and it will be uh, this 
width will be wrap content as well as the height will also be wrap content and we need to set the source and it will be drivable slash rec and we need to set the id for this image view and it will be star trick and after that we will have another image view and it will be wrap content and height will also be wrap content and we need to set the source and it will be equal to drivable slash uh, sorry I forgot to add the variable and here we will have okay so now our uh, layout is complete and there then the user will click on this recording button so the recording will be started and we will be uh, we will set the set on click mm -hmm. listener for it and now we will open another activity for that and after the he clicks on stop button now we will come back to this activity and then when the user clicks on this play button he will be able to play it all right guys so i hope that you have understood the design layout in this video and okay so i think that is enough for this video i will be creating the uh, main activity dot java file in my next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye